Today, I'm gonna to show you how to take this HD footage and rewind it back to the 90s. Let's get into it. As a child of the 90s, this challenge was especially fun for me because I always wanted to try to recreate an aesthetic that I grew up with as a child. So my first step in this whole process was the research process. During that time, I was just looking at commercials, I was looking at cartoon shows, I was looking at titles and graphics and some of the wardrobe options that they were doing. There's a very specific look that the 90s has and I was trying to find things that I could recreate, things that stood out to me. So this research process is a great place to start. All this research was incredibly helpful because you want to get in that 90s mindset. You want to see what was important back then. What were the things they were showing on film? Some of the activities that I wrote down were basketball, skateboarding, and just general outdoor activities. I guess people in the 90s were just outside all the time. So let's get to step two, collaboration. I actually have to thank my buddy Rome for inspiring me to make this video. He reached out to me months ago, months, months, months ago about recreating 90s images that he saw online. And he was like, these are so cool. We should try to recreate them. And I was like, yeah, this is really cool. Let's definitely do it. And there's no better person to recreate the 90s with than Rome. He is a straight up 90s kid. He's not an early 2000s kid, like a straight up 90s kid through and through. What's crazy is that he's actually really good at basketball and skateboarding. God, is he a Ninja Turtle too? Point being, it was really helpful to have him on set because it was like another brain in the room to help you put together what this aesthetic is going to look like. You know, I see one thing of the 90s, he sees another thing of the 90s. We put it together and it makes a more realized aesthetic. For example, when he started climbing in the tree, that was all his idea. And while I think he was just generally wanting to climb that tree, it reminded me of so many of those 90s films where a kid would sit up in a tree at school and think they're so cool, all emo up in the tree, you know, just perched up there. Like, I don't know, that was a very 90s thing. I think Rome just wanted to climb a tree, but it still, it worked. <laughs> That's not even mentioning the fact that he brought Pokemon cards to the set. I didn't even think of that. I'm so ashamed to say I didn't even think about Pokemon cards, but that's so essential. We have to have that. Having an extra pair of eyes on this type of project was really helpful. And when it comes to recreating an aesthetic, you really can't go it alone. Hey, you! Yes, you! Do you want to know how I recreated this 90s aesthetic? Okay. You do? I guess. Well, then follow Friction Makes Fire on YouTube! Ah! Embarrassing. Let's move on. It's time to apply the small details. Something that I've done in previous projects where I've parodied something or tried to mimic a particular style, it's that you want to focus on smaller details that add up. So my goal throughout this whole process was I want to take beautiful HD images and I want to nerf them down and make them look like they were being aired on an old RCA box TV. I honestly love how it looks. This 90s aesthetic feels so nostalgic, at least to me. It feels so warm and fuzzy. There's just like a simplistic feeling to it that I love so much. So then what really sells the look is that four by three aspect ratio. You just add a little feather on the side to sell it, to make it look like it was shot on film. And you're pretty much ready to go. You're all set. The three details of noise, Color correction and aspect ratio really, really helps sell it. And honestly, it feels like cheating because it's too easy. <laughs> a little detail that I noticed actually was that in the 90s, they always had those really overblown mics. Uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. So I wanted to try to do that as well. I recreated this 90s aesthetic. Okay. I guess people before the early 2000s must have just been really, really loud. <laughs> so there it is. We were able to recreate the 90s aesthetic and I'm hoping that you guys can take this knowledge and apply it and use it in your next big film. If you have any ideas for how to better recreate the 90s vibe, I'd love to hear it. Let's keep this collaborative process going. Let me know down below. If you're wanting to upgrade your filmmaking skills, I got a pretty great video about how to make better dialogue scenes. I got some good stuff in there. 
It was a great exercise I did and it really was helpful for me and I'm hoping that it will be helpful for you as well. All right guys, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Go make that 90s movie you've always wanted to make and I'll catch you in the next one.